Kia ora. I'm going to go through and show you how to download and install Ladybug tools for Grasshopper. To start with you're going to want to go to uh, the modules page in Nuku and then uh, I've set up a project 3 resources a tab with Ladybug tools as a page. So if we click on that it'll take you to a little bit of information about Ladybug tools and then um, the files that you're going to need to download. So we need to download Ladybug tools. Uh, so if we click on that and then you can click uh, the green thing there or the download button up there. I've already downloaded it so I won't do that. And the same for Radiance and, and Open Studio. So because I've already downloaded them, they'll be in your downloads file. We need to start with Ladybug tools. So if we that comes as a zip file, so you're going to need to unzip that. So if we click on uh, that file, it should unzip. It may have already done this, depending on how you've set up your computer. Uh, and then it creates this folder, and there's a few things in there. There's some instructions, so it's worth checking out what that says. It's got a link to the GitHub depository with all the information about that. Um, so we can click, we can copy that, and I've already got it open. So if we go to there, it just gives some overview and then some steps depending on what's going on. Um, later on, you'll want to have a look at the compatibility matrix, but at this stage we just need to install uh, all the files. So um, the, this just tells you what version you're running and what other applications it will run on and things. So this Later on, you'll probably need to update this, so this will help with that process. So we just want to get the instructions for Mac, and it guides through how to do this. Um, so let's just go back to uh, the desktop. We can just put that there. There's an installer Grasshopper file, so if we double click on this, It'll open up Rhino and Grasshopper for us. And there's some instructions here. So let's zoom in. It says make sure you are connected to the internet and then set, uh, set up Python to true. Okay, so I'm connected to the internet. Uh, then we just want to double click on the false icon here, uh, which is a Boolean toggle, which will set this to run. Just be aware it will take a while to respond. So if we double click now, it, nothing sort of happens and then the, the spinning wheel will come up and it will take uh, a little while to install. And now it's come up, it took just over a minute uh, to do that. So next you need to unzip the Python installation at users uh, your user file and then there'll be a folder set up. So let's open Finder again. Uh, so this is a different file, so this is the one that we downloaded. We need to go to A Pelosi under users. If you don't see that, sometimes this can be uh, closed, so we can click on that and then your favourites will come up there. Uh, and then we go through and find Ladybug tools, so we've got that there, so open that folder. And it's got a Python zip file, so we just need to unzip this. And then that's been done. So then we can come back to uh, the instructions uh, and run the installation component below. Before we do that, we've got some options that I think are, that are worth installing. So we're going to go and install those. So Open Studio and Radiance. So if we come down to your Downloads folder, and you should have downloaded these. So let's start with Open Studio. So if we click on that, uh, it comes up with a little folder. So we double click on the installer. And it comes up uh, with a, a warning here. Um, because I've opened this before, you might have a different uh, image. You need to go down to Settings, 
and open up your settings and uh, go to privacy and security and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and there'll be a little uh, thing here saying please open open studio or turn run it anyway so just make sure that you check that um, and then it will come up and then be a couple of windows that you'll need to click make sure you click open on uh, and then it will come through and give you this wizard uh, and just go continue um, and just leave that as default and install just note that it's quite large it's 1.5 gigabytes so make sure you've got enough space and you need to put in your uh, password for your computer and again this will take a, a minute or so to install and then it's done so we click done close there and we want to do the same for for radiance so uh, down, make sure you download the package file and then we can click and open that um, so this is what you'll see for the Open Studio one, so that we need to make sure we go to uh, privacy, or just go OK. Uh, and then you'll see in the privacy and settings that's there. Um, now pops up and says Open Anyway. And then we need to use your password or thing now. And then just here, make sure you click Open. And then you can follow the guide through to install this and then make sure you put in your password again and install software this is much quicker this file so we can close that uh, we can move that to the bin if we are done and we don't need the settings anymore so we come back to grasshopper and We've done that, so now we need to come down to this part and it says uh, make sure you're connected to the internet and then set install to true. So we just double click um, and then just wait because it will take a minute to start processing. So double click and then you can see it sort of kicks in and starts doing what it needs to do. And this will take a minute or so as well. And it'll come up with successful So and then it says um, it's been successfully installed, um, restart Rhino and to make sure you load everything. So we go OK. And it gives you all, everything what's going on in that uh, panel. So then we can close uh, Grasshopper and we can shut or quit Rhino. And just we can delete that, we don't need that. And we don't need that, so we can just put close. And that's now sort of shut down so if we open that Rhino again uh, we'll just make sure that it's all installed correctly we'll just do a quick new model open, open Grasshopper and then now you'll be able to see at the top Ladybug is installed and if we click on that there's a whole lot of uh, icons and we'll do another tutorial on how to do that. Um, I've got a whole lot of other plugins installed, don't need to worry about that. Just make sure you've got Ladybug and you'll probably have Honeybee and um, Radiance and Energy installed as well and Dragonfly. But the main one we'll be using uh, this project is Ladybug but you'll be using the others next trimester.